There's a famous scene from the first Gulf War when a convoy of Humvees enters a minefield. One of them hits a mine, gets blown clean in the air, lands on all four wheels and continues on. That is not possible in a Land Rover. It was at this moment that the Hummer legend was born. And someone quickly figured out that there were enough crazed gym enthusiasts in California to justify making the Humvee available to non-military types. Fitting the Humvee into civvies meant replacing the 6.5-litre Detroit diesel engine with a 6.6-litre GM Duramax. And since this engine made just 300 horsepower in a car that weighs more than most houses, it was often quicker to walk to the shops than use the Hummer. Still, if between you and the shops was a 22-inch obstacle to be cleared, or a puddle 30 inches deep, or a minefield, the Hummer H1 was the car for you. These turned out to be obstacles that most people don't face, and as a result, the H1 Alpha was discontinued after just over a year. Thank you.